Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Take Town Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Jason Luntz. Today, I am invited the first vice president of the National Coalition of 100 Black Women Incorporated Metropolitan Nashville Chapter, Dr. Qualls Brooks. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming back. Thank you for having me on the show to talk about the coalition. Great. Um, our longtime viewers know this is the second time that Dr. Qualls Brooks has been here. And once again, she's going to bring some great information to everybody. So the reason she's here is to discuss the upcoming Sisters for Sisters Conference. Did I say that correct? Sister for Sister Conference. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm already hearing a lot of buzz in the air about this event, and I just wanted our viewers to know as much as possible so they'll register and they'll come in full force. So we can just jump right in. What exactly is the um, Sister for Sister Conference? The First of all, let me thank you for having me on. I always appreciate sitting and talking to you, and it's just like where we're sitting around uh, <laughs> yes. uh, eating and enjoying uh, each other's company, talking about different uh, issues of life. So this is one of those Great, uh, opportunities. And I want to thank uh, your uh, audience for allowing me to come back to them and t as we talk about the Economic Council on Women or whether the Sister for Sister Conference sponsored by the Coalition of 100 Black Women. As you see, I'm all things women. Yes, yes. That's great. <laughs> yeah. The Sister for Sister Conference is an annual event that is produced by the Coalition of 100 Black Women in the Nashville chapter. It's going to be Saturday, March 22nd at the downtown Hilton. It's a full day's event. And um, our speaker for that uh, conference is Dr. Valerie Montgomery Rice. Okay. She's our luncheon speaker. She was here at Meharry some years ago. She established the Women's Center at Meharry. And she's going to be the first female president of the Morehouse School of Medicine, which is a freestanding school of medicine. Wow. So we are thrilled to have been part of her growth and her career here in Nashville and to have her to come and speak to us uh, for this conference on March 22nd. So we are thrilled to have a high power, as we say, yes. speaker like that. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about some of the other things we're having, if that's okay. Yes, please. We're having three life-enhancing workshops, is what I call them. And I have to refer to my notes so I can get them correctly. But uh, set up, uh, people can come in as early as 7.30 for registration. Okay. And then the conference begins promptly at 8.30 with a general overview. And to show you how quick and how serious we are, the first workshop begins at 8.35. The conference begins at 8.30. So all we're going to say is, good morning, we thank you here, what you hope, to, we, what we hope for you to learn on this day and then uh, move into those sessions. The first one, we have three tenets, education, health care, and economic em empowerment. So everything we do is, is through that perspective. So the first one is on education. It's called Unspoken Rules of Achieving Success. We're going to have uh, Lakita Stripling from Ronstadt uh, Staffing Agency, mm -hmm. Janet Rachel, who is at Vanderbilt HR and also has extensive ex experience in the corporate world, having worked at First American, and Dr. John Cade, who is an interim vice president at Tennessee State University. So we're going to cover uh, entrance and exits from colleges and universities to the work place within an academic setting and the workplace in the corporate world right. and we talk about tests and credentials but there are also a lot of uh, nuggets that we call them golden nuggets mm -hmm. that you have in your life and that you tools that you have and abilities and behaviors that you have that can get you as far as your credentials and your degrees your tone, your attitude, how you talk to people, what you talk about, how worldly are you. Mm -hmm. And all of those things, I remember a situation where this person was talking to a professor, I'm sorry, an administrator at a college, and he was trying to get his son in. And he started talking about his garden. He had a, a rose garden. And it, as it turned out, the administrator <laughs> had a rose garden. So they developed a good relationship because of that, and that became a good entrance. And needless to say, his child was able to get into that school without much problems because of that. So there are those th type things that we're talking about when we say um, how uh, unspoken rules of achieving success. Wow. Nobody so teaches one. you this. No one teaches you about, for example, finding common ground 
can definitely be a way to interact better with each other. But exactly. no one discusses that. Nobody, it, that's <laughs> yeah. right. Yes. But though they are there and they're real. Mm -hmm. So we talk often about more deals are made on the golf course than they are in the boardroom. Yes. So that's a great example of that. Uh, how do you take those and turn them into uh, wealth building, achieving successful opportunities? Our second workshop is going to be, are you the CEO of your wealth? That's our economic empowerment piece. Wow. And we're going to have Michael Burcham, who is the dynamic um, executive director of the Entrepreneurial Center, which is really hot and helping to yes. make Nashville the it city. Yes, I've heard so much about that place. Yes, and Dr. Bernard Turner, who is the uh, director of the social entrepreneurship at Belmont University, is going to facilitate that session. So basically, we're going to have two gurus from social entrepreneurship to entrepreneurship holistically and how you take again golden nuggets and turn them into profit making opportunities for yourself. Yes. So that's our, our second workshop and our last workshop is going to be uh, healthy and in charge and we're going to have a group of doctors to talk about different aspects of a woman's health so that women are known to take care of everybody but themselves so that we can talk about that. And uh, we're even going to have two sessions or two private sessions, one dealing with HIV AIDS testing and the other one dealing with uh, bra fitting. Bra you wouldn't know this, yeah. but uh, <laughs> it's well known that most women don't wear the right size. So we're wow. going to have an expert from Nordstrom's in a private setting to measure women so that they can make sure that they're getting uh, the best lifting for their bodies so they can be healthy and in charge. Yes, well I know quite a few women have complained about back problems. Yes. So that that's important. It you is. Know? And, and we can't be afraid to talk about these things. Sometimes I notice in our community we get nervous, bra fitting, HIV especially, mm -hmm. we get really clammed up. Mm -hmm. But if we just are adults and just discuss them, then we can have better, better health for all of us. Right. Uh, men have daughters. Yes. Uh, so you need to know these things so that you can guide your daughters in the mm -hmm. right direction. What you need to do, what is becoming, what isn't becoming. And sometimes what looks good is not good for your body in the long run. That's great. So you have to look at all of those issues. So those are our workshops. And again, we talked about uh, Dr. Montgomery Rice being our keynote speaker for lunch. But our lunch also features the coveted Davis Galloway Empowerment Award. And we have four outstanding women representing great organizations in Nashville who are nominees and the recipient will be announced at the luncheon. Oh wow, that's exciting. It is, it is. We're very proud of that yes. because the Davis Galloway Award is named after two extraordinary women from the Nashville community. Of course, uh, Mrs. Uh, Ivanetta Davis, mm -hmm. who was the, uh, the wife of the longtime president of Tennessee State University yes. and quite an educational uh, expert in her own way, having been principal. And Miss Letty Galloway, uh, and both were founding members of the Coalition of 100 Black Women, who was quite a spearhead in a number of organizations. So this award is named in their honor. That's great. So, and so the nominees represent them in many ways because of what they wanted to do to uplift women. That's great. Now, um, I want to talk a little bit about, while well, I still have you here, if you can tell us just a little bit more about the Coalition of 100 Black Women, as far as a national organization and as far as the Metropolitan Nashville okay. chapter. So it's a national organization with chapters in various cities across exactly. the country. Let me exactly. tell you about one more oh. point with our event. Oh, definitely. Okay. Yes, please. One is uh, we have a prelude event to the conference on Friday from 4 until 6 at Belmont. Connie Lindsay is going to lead our, our leadership development workshop. Connie Lindsay is the highest ranking African American at Northern Trust Bank out of Chicago. And she is also the president of the National Board of Directors of the Girl Scouts USA. So the entire, when you talk about local chapters, yeah, like our local wow. councils, uh, the Girl Scouts USA, she is the president of the board. So she's going to come and do our leadership development workshop on Friday. It is a free event. All you have to do is go to our website and register. It is reserved and we have a, a limited number of seats available and they are going fast. So, but we want any woman and men who want to really get into leadership. Connie Lindsay is dynamic. 
and you don't get to be the head of the board of the Girl Scouts by uh, not being phenomenal. No, yeah. And she yeah. is, and um, she's about um, board development. Uh, and then once you get on that board, things that you have to do as far as uh, fundraising, as far as using the money wisely. Uh, the Girl Scouts own properties all over the world. That's yes. where they go and have their camps. Yes. So and it's, so the Girl Scouts is more than just the cookies. And then they have to deal with bakeries all over the country to get that. So she is, of course, not the executive director. She's the, the board. So the executive director reports to yes. the board and essentially reports to Connie Lindsay. So we are excited that she's coming in to lead our development workshop. And I'll give you the contact information as to how you can go and register for her. Okay. And after our Saturday, after our workshop, beginning Monday and Tuesday, we're having legislative days where members of the coalition are going to be at the legislature meeting with officials, meeting with senators and representatives, and talking about issues dealing that we are concerned about, health care, education, and economic empowerment. Right. So that So we're having legislative days. We'll be at the uh, Capitol meeting with legislators, senators, and representatives, and other officials, and talking to them about the issues that are important to the Coalition of 100 Black Women, health care, economic empowerment, and education. Great. So it's a full week of activities that's focusing on these things for women, particularly minority women yes. and children. So you can go to our website, Nashville100, that's 100BW.org, Nashville100BW.org. Thank you for having me on. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And um, it this was exciting. I really encourage people to go to the Sister for Sister conference, register, sign up. It's going to be a great day for uh, everyone that's involved. And once again, thank you for tuning in to Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune.